I, I, was, I was asleep and my wife got the call about 3.30 this morning. So, and of course, then she got me up. And, uh, <laughs> so we're both going to be a little sleepy tonight. What was your reaction? Oh, I mean, obviously it's a bit overwhelming. I think, you know, there's, you know, there's always that kind of possibility. But I must say that, that, that I had, there were no rumblings at all that, you know, this might happen this year. So it, it really was a surprise. So telling my, I was telling my wife earlier to pinch me to make sure this is <laughs> really happening. So, no, I suppose it hasn't really sunk in yet. The subject that's being recognized I've been doing for 37 years at, at NIST, so it, it's gone on a long time. One topic they meant, mentioned was the uh, you know properties of superposition, and so one of the things we can do is, for example, uh, we can put a, a an atom in a what we call a trap, but you can think of like marble in a bowl. And one of the interesting things about superposition is that we can, at at a given instant of time, the marble can be both on the left side of the bowl and the right side of the bowl at the same time, which makes no sense in our ordinary day experience, but this is the kind of things we can do with quantum systems with atoms. So now this this builds on a lot of past work, so I think this this idea is known for quite a long time, and I think, you know, one of the things that I guess you know, that's being recognized as we were able to build on this property to, to, for certain applications. So the two things that are most uh, talked about is we, where we use these ideas in making better atomic clocks, and uh, we're also working on advanced computers, so-called quantum computers that utilize these principles of superposition.